Hi there, my name is Jane and welcome to my dressmaking channel, Loopy Mabel's Closet. If you've already just found me, hello and welcome and to all my lovely subscribers, hello and welcome back. So in today's vlog, it's going to be about what I'm going to be sewing in the following few weeks. And I thought I'd share with you some lovely fabrics and patterns that I've got planned. Hiya and welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane and this is my channel where I share with you my handmade wardrobe dressmaking journey. Uh, hello to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're new here and you like my videos and my sewing makes, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, it's all about what I'm planning on sewing over the next few weeks. So if you want to grab a coffee and join me for some cozy sewing chat, I shall see you just after this intro. So where have I been? Well, I had a little bit of a fall the other day, so I went absolutely flying on my left hip and landed in a great big slimy patch on the path in front of my mum's house. Just went absolutely flying, landed on my hand, cut my hand and I've got a big bruise on the side of my thigh. So I haven't been able to um, sit comfortably for the last few I'm lucky I didn't break anything. I swear I, the way I landed, I didn't break anything at all. Just bruising, so I was really lucky. Cracked the screen protector on my phone, which I was absolutely gutted, but it did protect the phone and I've just got a new protector back on it, so that's fine. So lucky that I didn't crack my head or anything. So that's, I've been a little bit sore, a little bit tender the last few days and I've been itching to get back at the sewing machine but I just couldn't sit comfortably on the chair so I haven't been able to do any. So I thought, well, I could, at least I could sit in this comfy chair in my, in my sewing room and I could tell you what I've got planned for the next few weeks. So if I go on, what am I wearing and what is Mabel wearing? Mabel is wearing the Amelia dress by Sew Me Something. I made that uh, a couple of weeks ago in like a green linen. Love this dress and it's been washed a few times and the more I wash it, the better the linen gets. And I've added it with my ever faithful raggy brooch, which just seems to go with 80% of my wardrobe. So that's what um, Mabel the mannequin is wearing. And I am wearing my ever faithful, one of my favourite patterns is the Roscoe blouse by True Bias. And I've got it lay layered over um, polo neck, find it, a fine knit jumper. So that's what I'm wearing today. And this vlog is all about jersey fabrics. And I've been putting off and putting off sewing with jersey. I've only stitched two things with jersey so far. One was those cat pyjamas that I didn't particularly like the fabric. Um, pop the video for that up there or the picture of me wearing the pyjamas. But I absolutely love wearing them. My favourite comfortable pyjamas ever. So I'm definitely going to do that pattern again. Absolutely love them. My favourite. And that was the only that I think that was the second thing I've actually stitched with jersey. So I've been putting off and putting off. So I thought, right, I'm going to do myself some sweatshirts um, and some like the long line dresses type of thing in the jersey fabrics. So let's start. So the first one I want to show you is the pattern. It's the Jarrah sweatshirt by Megan Nielsen. So hopefully you can see that and I shall pop some pictures up as well of it close up as well so you can see. And I love the detail on this and there's quite a few options and I'm going to go for the option with the tie at the bottom. I like that detail. But then I like the, is it the funnel neck? So I'm gonna go for that at the bottom with the funnel neck as well. So, and I've never stitched any of her patterns before. So I like to try things out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. And the fabric I'm gonna be using, hopefully it'll work, as I say, I'm, I haven't got that much experience with jersey, is this jersey crepe type effect. And I've got loads of it. I got this from Jay from the Fabric Edit. 
her Instagram page is amazing. She has some absolutely fabulous fabrics and the brilliant prices. So I got this, but I think there's two and a half meters, so it's quite a lot. So I'm probably gonna have quite a bit spare. Um, yet again, I ordered the fabric before I knew what I was gonna do with it. So it's, it's, that's a, is a, that is a problem I do have. I must stop doing that. I must plan what I'm going to sew first and then get the fabric rather do the way around because by doing it fabric first I order far too much fabric because I don't know what I'm going to make because I've ordered like two and a half meters it could even be three meters I can't remember well it's how much waste I'm going to get on the end of after this I do not know so I really must stop doing that I really must plan fabric second pattern first then go off what it tells you to get and then get the fabric that way. But anyway, still learning, I suppose. So yeah, so this is a lovely crepe effect stripe fabric, and I think it's black. It is a black stripe on uh, like antique white background, and it's got that lovely crepey texture. Hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, so that is the first one, and it's, um, I love the texture and I like the stripe and I've got nothing at all in my wardrobe that is stripe. So that is going to be the Jarrah sweatshirt. If it works out well, I could make, if I've got enough, I could make another one for my daughter because she likes stripes. So it's not the end of the world, I suppose. So that's the Jarrah by Megan Nielsen. Oh, and before I go on, if you like to store your patterns in these amazing envelopes, my 10% discount is still running uh, over at Pattern Trace UK. I'll put the link for it in the, in the description box below and I have a 10% discount code and you can go and get anything, not just the pattern envelopes, but there's all sorts on that website for your sewing, sewing tools and what have you. But I love these envelopes. So they are the envelopes if you wanted to get some of them, 10% discount. So going on to the next one, this is, I've seen this made a few times over on Instagram and Pinterest. And I just think it's a really nice, looks like a basic sweatshirt, um, the Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio. And again, never made a sweatshirt so this is going to be my second make and I am just going to go straight for the top picture basic sweatshirt I've seen it made on Pinterest and I think it looks a really lovely sweatshirt and I don't have an awful lot of decent sweatshirts and I'm going to go for this fabric which I got from Pound Fabrics again the thing is when you buy from Pound Fabrics, it's really, really cheap, but you have to buy a minimum of three meters. But this, I think this is only, only cost me six pound for three meters. I think it's two pound a meter. So that's the only downside I would say, um, because you get an awful lot of fabric and what you're gonna do, I don't you know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. So I'll probably, uh, anything I've got spare, I'll probably pop on my Instagram account. And if anybody wants to buy what I've got left spare, I suppose that is a way of doing it but isn't this gorgeous I love this and I think the lovely Sharon on shabby polka dots on Instagram I think she's got this fabric too and I think she got her obviously got hers from pound fabrics as well and it's just a gorgeous it's brown background and it's got a little bit of a like a, a washed brushed look effect and it's got these gorgeous gold flowers and hints of like orange or like dirty orange and lilacs and I just love it and green leaves I just love it I just think it's really pretty and it's got a lovely stretch to it as I say I've, this is all new to me so working with um, Jersey so I'm going to be obviously trial and error I suppose but I've seen I've seen it made and the I've got followed what the instruction says for the fabric and I think this should be absolutely perfect for it but as I say I'm going to have loads left so isn't that gorgeous really lovely weight to it and it's got a lovely um 
bouncy feel and I just think it's going to be so cosy and vintage looking and really lovely winter, a winter look sweatshirt. So that is that one. So that's plan number two. Plan number three is Nina Lee. This is my second Nina Lee pattern and this is the South Bank sweater. And again, I've seen this made over on um, Instagram and there's been some gorgeous makes. I'm not sure about the pockets though at the bottom. It comes with pockets and quite a few people have said that the pockets tend to stick out a bit at the bottom. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put pockets in and maybe just keep it as a straight, straight um, down sweatshirt dress. I'm going to try the, the long version. I thought it might look quite nice over jeans or tights even. And uh, the fabric I've got again, this one is from Pound, Pound Fabrics, three meters again. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Open it up a bit so you can see. I mean, that is just gorgeous. And it's got all these lovely bright colors as well. Um, the pinks and the splash of turquoise and obviously the green and like antique white so i thought that would go absolutely fabulous for through the winter as i say it's three meters so i've got plenty to have a go at the dress but i'm not sure whether i'm going to put the pockets in like i say i think i may leave them out and see what it looks like if you've made the um, south bank sweater dress and you've added the pockets will you let me know what you think do they stick out or or is it okay um, I'd love to know of you tried it without the pockets. Uh, please let me know because I'm not too sure about the pockets. Even though I do like pockets and things, I don't want them to stick out. I've had a, a ready to wear sweatshirt dresses before that I've had pockets in and they do tend to stick out a bit at the side and I don't really want to spoil the like silhouette of it. So if you've done it with the pockets or without the pockets, let me know. I'd love to know. So that's the Nina Lee South Bank and I'm going to go for the long version in this delicious pattern jersey. So let's see how that turns out. I just love all the colours because I'm sure I'll be able to mix and match and wear, I think it'll go lovely with black tights. So that is that fabric, three metres, plenty there. And again, if I've got anything left over, uh, please let me know if you'd be interested in any of the remnants in the box below and then I'll let you know how much I've got left. And the last one is going to be by Named Patterns. I've had this pattern quite a while, I never got around to doing it. And it's the Sontu Kimono Tee. And I like the fact that it's gathered at the waist with a tie belt and it's a good layering top. So I could wear this with, because I do like to layer tops, I could wear this over lots of my skinny ribbed jumpers and my like you know like Freya type of top underneath and the fabric I'm going to use for this is again from the lovely J the fabric edit and it's just gorgeous it's got like a mustard yellow and black and white check effect and I'll just open it up and again I think I've got two and a half meters of this And I just absolutely love, love this. And it's quite um, medium to heavy weight. And it's got a little bit of stretch. And I think that'll go up lovely with that pattern. So yeah, so I've got two and a half meters of this and it is um, a ponty, Jersey ponty. So that is what I've got planned for my Sontu Kimono tea. And hopefully at the end of these four sewing patterns, I will have mastered stitching with jersey. I've got my jersey sewing needles, machine sewing needles ready. I've got my walking foot ready. I have brushed up on my overlocker and I've been reading through on my Tilly in the Button stretch book. So I think I'm okay. Please let me know if you've stitched with jersey and if you've come across any, any problems or is anything I need to look out for before I get going. I would love to know. And hopefully I shall see you on the other side with four jersey makes and hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll turn out absolutely fine. 
So that's what I've got planned for the next few weeks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like what I've got planned. If you've made any of these uh, patterns, please let me know in the box below and that would be great too. If you did like this video, please give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that just makes me feel really good when people subscribe. And hopefully the next time I shall see you with some lovely jersey makes. And until the next time, please take care and happy sewing.